my friends, Angela here. Welcome back to my art channel, Angela Mutavi Art. And in today's video, I am continuing with my swiping technique uh, to make my my beautiful landscapes. As you can see, this one over here, I just posted it about a week ago. So go ahead and check it out. It's on my uh, on, on uh, my channel, Angela Mutavi Art. Um, so today's uh, paint will be, I'm using a different color palette. Today I'm going to be using a green um, family uh, colors. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you what uh, colors I'm going to use. And also, instead of using the 10 by 20 today, I'm going to use this 11 by, no, 12 by 16. So this is 12 by 16 canvas. That's what I'm going to be using today. And for the colors, um, let's see. I'm going to I'm going to actually be swiping with um, this Arteza and Deco Art Gold mixed. Next, I have this one it's flush um, blue green flush blue green. This one is Arteza Pale Green. We have Amsterdam Turquoise Green. And guys, I just put them in, in these bottles because it's easier to just have them prepared than to prepare every single day um, painting. So I put them in uh, these bottles and Basically, if I'm painting uh, a lot for a week, it will t it will probably take me about um, ten paintings to to uh, to finish these bottles um, if I use them a lot. But if I don't use these paints a lot, then it will take me longer. So this one is Liquitex Basics Light Blue Permanent. Lastly, well, actually, no, we have one more. Um, Winsor Newton's uh, Green Gold. This is Winsor Newton's Green Gold. And I can show you the tubes that comes with uh, these paints come from. But, yeah, just if you want to buy them, just by going with the names that I'm giving you. You can find them with um, um, Amsterdam brand. Liquitex, uh, you can find them with Artist Loft, uh, all kinds of different um, brands you can find these colors. So, and the last one is actually a mixture of a medium green with moss black in here to make it much darker. Okay, so those are the colors I'm gonna use, and for the base, I'm gonna use my normal regular gliden than I always use um, I went ahead and put a little bit of water because it was very very uh, thick so we'll see how it flows this time um, okay this is another uh, tool that I'm gonna be using it's a palette knife and my torch to torch out the bubbles and my um, my layering container here, my layering tool, and what else? Um, a towel here to uh, wipe the uh, the knife and all that. Okay, so it looks like we are ready here to do this. So let me go ahead and set this up, and I will be back in a minute or two to uh, well. To you it's gonna be no time at all so I'll be back stay tuned okay guys I am back and I am ready to um, to layer my cup I have already poured my uh, white on the canvas um, I used this gliden um, paint and obviously you can use any any other paint you like um, it depends on what uh, technique you're using. In this case, I'm using the um, the swipe, uh, almost like a bloom technique, but I'm swiping, I'm tilting and swiping. Um, 
and then if, if you were using a different technique like that four or um, any other different techniques you just look it up and see just the consistency that you need to have in this case mine is a little bit thicker than than the Dutch uh, the Dutch pour consistency and I went ahead and put a little bit water on it just just to make it thinner than it was the other day okay so I'm gonna start with the color that I want to be in there to come out last and this this um, winter Newton green winter Newton's green gold is the one I want to come last so I'm basically just layer it like that and I'm gonna do just one layer this time I'm not gonna do too many too many um, layers of each paint so one layer per paint and this will be followed by the flash um, blue green and that's a metallic kind of a metallic um, iridescent <music> wiping with the gold anyway so see how beautiful that is I think I put too much um, green there but after all this is a green Mm, all right I always love how these cups look like when after you pour your paint it's, it just looks so beautiful some corals look at this I actually like it so now look at this look at here look at here so now what we will do is we'll take our palette knife we'll clean out the edges that way the paint is not poured down we don't want this paint to be poured down and then our design be messed with okay you know guys I hadn't mentioned that I was gonna swipe this with uh, gold but I think gold would just take over completely take over so I've changed my mind and I am going to swipe with black and gold a little bit black uh, cell activator and this is by Amsterdam it's um, uh, oxide black so I'll just put a little bit here 
make sure not too much and since we have a lot of colors I'm not sure if I need to put to add like more colors to swipe over so let's try to swipe them without the colors first and then if we still need colors then we will add colors so I'm actually going to add to mix the black and the gold for swiping I put the black first and then the gold second so the black will be will come out on top and then I'll just swipe like this show you what we have here and then we'll wait for it to dry we'll come back to it uh, when it dries and I'll show you what dry results look like so this is the, the uh, wet result and I love this one I love it I love the way the gold brought all that goodness this is so beautiful and if you frame it really well this would fit in like a 
Oh no, kitchen no. It's, it, it makes me want to go have some salad right now. So, um, it is beautiful. I love it. All right, guys. I will see you when this dries. And I will show you the final result. Here is the dry painting, guys. And to tell you the truth, I do like the way these thicker paints are drying. They are really drying very well and they are not really shifting that much. Uh, I mean, if you look at the, uh, the wet results and this is almost identical because the paint was not too thin to, um, to move around. So this is amazing. Really, really beautiful. Again, another masterpiece. Yeah, so this is the beautiful final result. And I love it. I love it. It's really, really beautiful. And I like that it fills up the canvas. I'm going to put it in a floating uh, frame. And so this is going to look really, really beautiful once it's been framed and resin or I can just uh, uh, varnish it instead of resining because it's already uh, bright enough and you know I don't want it to lose all this organic look it's, it's really beautiful so there you have it guys uh, please subscribe leave a comment hit the notification bell share and I will see you on the next video thank you so much for watching and thank you for your continuous um, support by watching my videos and I will see you on the next video God bless bye